Hello, this is Hollis Polk, and she has a message for you if you have always known stuff. Hi. So, I've always known stuff. When I was three years old, I remember standing in the line in the post office with my mom, and the reason I know I was three is because my little sister was in a carrier, um, and this man came running into the office, and I think he was actually the postmaster, but he was very upset, and I looked up at my mom, and I said, why is that mom, why is that man so angry? Why is he angry at his wife? And she looked down at me, and she said, don't do that. Okay, so I didn't. And I stopped until I was about 10. And when I was 10, I started to just know stuff. I knew things that people were going to do. I knew why they were going to do them. Or if they were doing them, I knew why they were doing them. Um, sometimes I would see things that were going to happen. I would get messages about what I needed to do in response to world events. Like, you know, when I was 11, basically, a guy told me I needed to learn Russian. And I did. Like, God bless my dad for arranging for that. Um, but most of my childhood was me knowing stuff that the adults didn't want to hear and them in effect saying, shut up kid. And I eventually learned just not to tell people the stuff that I knew because they didn't want to hear it. And I thought maybe there was something wrong with me. I was doing something wrong. And what I realized, you know, the stuff I knew saved my life a couple times without going into details. They saved me from very dangerous situations a couple times. And the more that happened, the more I began to trust it. To the point where I actually took classes in how to develop my psychic abilities. Because that's what those things are. And so if you're somebody who knows stuff, has always known stuff, I have some advice. The first thing is, Pay attention to how you know it. Is there a voice that talks to you? Or maybe more than one. And again, it doesn't mean you're crazy. Um, if there's a voice, notice where that voice is. Is it in your head? Is it around you someplace? I have a really good voice right here. He's reliable. He's really reliable. Um, if you see pictures, where are they? Are they full color? Are they black and white? Are they moving or still? Do they have a border around them or do they fade out at the edge? Are they flat or are they 3D? Notice how the information comes and check it out. Now this is actually the most important point. When you get information, check it out. However you can. And I gotta tell you, sometimes the stuff you know, it can take years to find out whether you were right or not. So it's not always the easiest thing. But check it out and notice when you get information that turns out to be right, how exactly did that information come packaged? Again, I've talked about when you see it or when you hear it. Sometimes you just know stuff. Telepathy is funny. It's the word, it's the word nobody ever wants to talk about. But it's a natural ability, right? Some pe like any other ability, right? Some people can run really fast. Me, I'm really slow. If you have these abilities, you still gotta practice them because the more you practice, the better you get. And it doesn't matter if you tell anybody. Use it for yourself, it's completely fair. And here's the thing that I really want you to know. If you know you're getting information and you know it's accurate, again, by checking it out time after time after time after time, the fact that other people don't get it or don't wanna hear it doesn't make you wrong. It makes them limited. Know what you know, see what you see, hear what you hear, and use it for your own good and for the good of other people and for the good of the earth. Thanks for listening.